Welcome back. So today I decided to go ahead and do another look. So let me go ahead and start out with my eyebrows. And today I'm trying something different. It's this L'Oreal Brow Style Framing Set. And it's a little bit different from what I normally do. I normally just use my um, pencil to fill in my eyebrows, but decided to try something a little different today. I'm going to go ahead and clean them up also with my Toffee LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm not sure how I feel about this um, eyebrow product. It's a little bit dark. It feels like it is black instead of dark brown. So, not sure if I will be using it in the future. Um, and I made my eyebrows a little bit too thick today. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take this LA Girl Pro Concealer and just add it around my eyes as well. I like to do that sometimes just to mute out my dark circles and it kind of adds a little bit of light into my eye area. I'm gonna use tape today because I want it to be nice and precise. So I'm going to start out with my e.l.f. Matte for Matte palette and I'm going to go ahead and use the dark green color in here. wanted to do a green eye look and so I'm just going to use that along my crease and basically is the base for my eye. I'm not really using a transition color because I'm just going to kind of mute it out in the upper portion of my eye. This eyeshadow is very pigmented. It really came off with a lot of color. <laughs> when I placed it on my eye, I didn't expect it to be that bold, but I actually really like it. So now I'm gonna go into my Metals palette. It's my Opalon Metals palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush so that I can get the highest pigment. And this first color I'm using is Titanium. And I'm just placing that in the outer portion of my eyelid because I'm going to use two different colors on my eyelid for shimmer. Now I'm going in with the lighter color, silver, and I'm going to place that in the inner portion of my eyelid, wetting my brush also for this color. And I'm just going to bring that across to the middle of my lid and blend it into that darker shimmer shadow color. Now I'm just taking the brush that I used for the green matte eyeshadow, just kind of blending out the edges of the shimmer shadows so that it has a more blended look. I didn't want a huge transition from the uh, from the glitter to the matte shadow. So I'm just using my brush to kind of mute out the edges as well as blend it in with the shimmer shadow. Now I'm going in with this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I purchased these a long time ago and I'm not really into the liquid shadows, but I decided I wanted to try and use it more as an eyeliner for this look. Since I'm going with the green theme, I thought maybe it would be kind of interesting to use this eyeshadow as an eyeliner because they actually dry down and stay put so I wasn't sure at first 
if I really liked it, but after a while, I actually really did like it because it's different than my usual black eyeliner and it added a little extra touch of color to this look. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my face and I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Prep um, Face Primer. I really like this primer. It is nice and soft and it has a nice blurring effect on my face. So just placing that all over my face in preparation for my foundation. And the foundation I'm using today is the LA Girl Pro Coverage um, HD foundation. And this one is the color Coffee. ahead and shake it up so I can get a nice even color. And I'm just using a damp beauty blender to place the foundation on my face and blend it in all over until I get a nice even coverage for my face. I didn't do any color correcting today um, so it's not giving me the nice, true, full coverage look that I like because I do have areas of hyperpigmentation around my mouth, but I just didn't feel like covering them today, so I didn't. Now I'm gonna go ahead in with that dark green color that I started out with, and I'm just gonna smoke out my bottom lash line. And I'm also going to go in with a light brown color to help kind of smoke it out even more. Now I'm using that silver metallic eyeshadow that I used on the inner portion of my eyelid. And I'm using that to highlight just under my um, eyebrow on my brow bone being really careful to blend that in nicely so that it has a seamless transition with the eyeshadow. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and add a little more color on my bottom waterline. So I'm using this Navi eyeliner pencil in the color Ocean Blue and I'm just adding a little pop of color in my lower waterline. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some highlighting. I'm going to do this on the usual areas of my face, under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, upper lip, and chin. And I'm just going to blend this in with a damp beauty blender until it's nice and seamless with my foundation. So I decided I wanted to do a little contouring today. I'm using my True Complexion Cream Contour Palette. <coughs> Excuse me, in dark medium. And I haven't really decided if I prefer the cream contour or the powder contour better. Um, I think the cream, actually. It just blends really nicely when you use a damp beauty blender. Um, and it's really, really seamless with the cream. The powder, I usually use a brush, and sometimes it seems a little bit harder to blend. So now I'm gonna go in with this Milani Prep Set and Go. It's a transparent or translucent powder. Um, I don't use it that often, so I decided to go ahead and use it today just to kind of see how it works out and it actually worked out fine. I went over that with my Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte Poreless Powder in 360 just to kind of warm up my face a little bit after using that translucent powder. <laughs> my eyebrows are so bushy today, oh my goodness. 
So I got this e.l.f. baked blush for free when I ordered my eyeshadow palette. But when I swatched it, it looked more like a highlight to me. So I decided to go ahead and try it out as a highlight today instead of a blush. It's kind of light for a blush for me. Um, it's okay. Eh, not that great. It's okay. Now I'm going to go in with this Milani Coral Cove Powder Blush. I love this blush. It's very pretty. I fell in love with the color and the look of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that with my look today. It's a very soft coral color. Now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. mascara. Just placing that on my upper lashes as well as my lower lashes. Trying to be very careful not to get it on my face. It's funny, out of all the expensive mascaras I have, this is my favorite. The least expensive. Now I'm going to go in with the Kiss Perfect Precision Lip Liner. This is just a nice deep brown color and I'm going to line my lips. I decided not to do a bold lip today since my eyes are a little bit bold. I'm going to go ahead and do a softer lip. So this is my Forever 21 High Shine Lip Gloss has a little bit of a pink tint to it. So I'm just gonna go over my lip liner with that and just create a little bit of an ombre look on my lips. Okay, I couldn't resist. I had to add just a little bit more of that beautiful blush. It's a soft color, so it's not too bad. I can add a little more. I didn't go crazy. Now it's time for my NYX Matte Finish Spray. So I'm just going to spray this all over my face to set this look. So this is the look you guys. I hope you like it. I wanted to try something a little bit different today. So I went with the green um, in the metallic shade. So thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!